For the first time in years, Bianca Mendoza says things are looking up. She escaped from a man in early February who she says pimped her out for years. Police arrested him days later. His name is Ariel Guizar, but he's known on social media as Shy Boy. Do you call him Shy Boy or do you I call, call him, him Shy? Name? You call him Shy? Yeah, that's what everybody like really calls him. Like they know him by Shy. The teen tells us she met Guizar on Instagram when she was just 15 years old. I came across his tattooing page on Instagram and saw he had a lot of followers and I liked his tattoos, so I would like his pictures and then. He started liking mine and he would comment on my pictures and we exchanged numbers. Unhappy at home and after years of being in and out of the court system, she ran away, agreeing to meet up with the then 33-year-old man thinking they would have a relationship. I asked her when it all changed. He would have sex with the other girls like in front of me and stuff like that. So I was just like, okay, like it's not like how I thought. but. I don't know. And then that's when he had his friends go to the hotel room and like have them like basically do whatever they wanted with me. And when I told him about it, he didn't care. It was that same day in a motel in San Jose when she says she first started prostituting for him. The first time I worked for him, I only had probably like about like five to like eight guys a day. You might be assistance of an attorney, Mr. Wezar. Wezar, seen here in court, is charged with pimping a minor, pandering, forcible rape, along with felony drug and weapons charges. In response to questions about his charges, public defender Milani Bartholomew gave us a no comment. Police say Wezar advertised Bianca and other girls on Backpage.com and his social media accounts. I'll be posting videos soon. We found posts on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Bianca tells us he posted a video of her with a client. She tried to leave, and he forced her to stay. So I told me that if I had anybody try to pick me up, that he would kill them before they took off with me. When I started working for him again, um, it was up to like more than 20 guys a day because he would tell us you guys have to make a thousand dollars and then you guys could go to sleep. When asked why she agreed to do this interview, Bianca says she's worried for other girls like her. Because if a guy loved you, he wouldn't have you having sex with other guys for money. He would be the one that wants to be your only one.